Uh, the goal of anti-alignment is to identify and match nodes across cases that represent the same real-world entity. However, the practical cases often vary greatly in scale, structure, and identify overlapping, posing new challenges for anti-alignment. Uh, so start with rethinking existing EA data size. Current data size often overlook the high heterogeneity between knowledge graphs. Uh, for scale, the statistical analysis of bilingual DBP and uh, DBP wiki shows that the cases are similar in the number of entities, relations, and facts, indicating that the scale of alleged entities are the same. However, in practical scenarios, cases from different sources are not always the same in scale and even show significant differences. Uh, for structure, here to evaluate the neighborhood similarity, between cases, we introduce a new metric called structure similarity, which is the average similarity of alleged neighbors for alleged entity pairs. The cases of bilingual DBP and DBP wiki are similar in structure similarity and the density and also have similar degree distributions as shown in the figure, uh, which reflects that the cases are similar in structure. Uh, for the overlapping ratio of bilingual DBP and uh, DBP wiki, they are all 100%, which refers to another important feature of most EA data sites called one-to-one -one assumption, which means each entity in a KG must have a counterpart in the another KG. However, this assumption divides from practical cases, especially when the arrangement is performed between cases from different sources. In conclusion, we find the previous EA data sites are oversimplified under unrealistic assumptions and sightings, which divide from real-world scenarios and hinders our understanding of the real progress achieved by previous EA, EA methods for applications. To address the data site issue, we introduced two new data sites that better reflect real-world scenarios especially in dealing with highly heterogeneous cases. Specifically, in scale, the constructed data site man maintained the original distribution and the scale differences of the two cases during sampling. And in structure, we preserve the feature of the original cases that the density is significantly different. Figure also shows that the two proposed data sites show highly he different uh, de degree distributions in overlapping ratio, the data size mimic a more common scenario of alleged KG sources, such as domain specific cases like SEWS and uh, general cases like uh, Wiki or Yago. The difference in the sources are typically not language but the coverage of knowledge. Uh, here we also briefly reveal the representation, uh, representative EA method. For translation based EA methods are uh, inspired by TransE. Their scoring functions assess the knowledge trapeze valid validly to optimize knowledge representation for similarity comparison and then for alignment. For GN based methods, which have gained uh, popularity in EA tasks for their notable cap capabilities in modeling both structure and semantic information in cases. They have the similar formulation, which contain the message passing, attention, aggregation, and the self-loop mechanism. Here, message passing involves nodes to assimilate features from neighbors as it loops treated in the right fit rule. Attention assigns varied widths of nodes during message passing and aggregation, enhancing genes to focus on more important nodes. Aggregation of our summarized view of nodes local context by compiling neighbor information into a concise representation. Lastly, self-loop ensures the preservation and leveraging of self-nodes features amidst the learning process. Some other EA methods such as field library int and non-neural method pairs are also important for evaluation. In the context of EA in HH cases, the effectiveness of this method and mechanism may be influenced by various factors, such as the level of heterogeneity, the number of overlapping entities, and the quality of structure and semantic information. 
Okay, now let me introduce our experimental studies. In this section, we dive into experimental study to verify the effectiveness of a representative in method. Here, we adopt two classic data sites and introduce our new data sites, uh, SEWS Wiki and SEWS Yago. We select 13 representative baselines. This includes translation-based methods, ZN-based method, and other representation methods. We aim to shed light on two main questions. For what is the effect of existing EM method on HHKGs? And the second, do GN really br bring performance gain? And which components of GNs play a key role in EA performance? Specifically for data sites, baselines that generally perform well on bilingual DBP and uh, DBP wiki decrease significantly on new data sites, especially GN based and uh, translation based methods. In practice, existing EA methods make it difficult to reach the required accuracy performance for applications. Regarding embedding method, both translation-based and GN-based approach fall short when it comes to understanding complex relationships in HHKGs, leading to underwhelming results on new data sites. OK, when it comes to input features, Enables entity names are crucial. Models that can leverage entity name information generally outperform this that don't. However, the usefulness of structured information is limited in HHKGs, not really improving performance. Interestingly, models that incorporate temporal information like TREA and TEAGNN. Uh, do better than others, showing that uh, timing can be key in aligning entities correctly. Here to answer question two and dive deeper into the performance influence of key components of genes, we further take the SOTA gene-based methods as an example and conduct the case studies and ablation studies. For message passing, we conduct the case studies as shown in above figure. Our findings reveal that genes structural, stru struggle to use structural information effectively when entities and their neighbors are quite dissimilar and labeled differently. Here, we also conduct ablation studies to verify the effectiveness of each component of HHKGs. Attention enhanced alignment accuracy by highlighting keynotes and aggregation hand can help to or hinder depending on the presence of entity names by controlling noise. Self-attention, self uh, self-loop maintain essential node features, if, especially when aggregation is removed. The big takeaway is that message passing and aggregation genes face real challenges in handling, uh, handling diverse data in highly heterogeneous settings. This calls for deeper dive and smarter data sensitive strategies in future model design. Uh, okay, here the experimental studies let us to propose an effective tool for dive into in depth analysis and the answer. Uh, oh, sorry. And answer a key question, what constitutes an effective EA model for applications and uh, which factor is impactful in practical scenarios? Here to answer it, we embark on a comprehensive examination by implanting a simple yet effective tool named the Simple HHEA and the Simple HHEA Plus, which adopts the highly heterogeneous structure information. For entity modeling, it adopts birth with whitening strategy and linear transformation to obtain entity name embedding. For entity time modeling, it first announced the uh, nominated the relevant time point of specific entity and adopt time to vector, which linear layer to get time embedding. For any structure modeling, we call it simple HHEA plus. It adopts the relation of weird random work to balance the breadth and the depth of sample paths and adopts skip gram with liner layer to get structure embedding. Finally, the feature fusion is adopted to get the final entity embedding. 
Overall, the performance is well comparing with SOTA anti-alignment method. Well, it is straightforward in design. What a well-designed simple model can also achieve competitive results. We also conduct an efficiency analysis showing table. Uh, it shows the efficiency superiority of simple HGE over base lines. The ablation study also highlights the effectiveness of the proposed components of simple HGA. Here, questioning whether entity name information always hold value, and if structure information is indeed in effective on HHKGs, we conduct the sensitivity experiment of name and structure features and find some interesting things. Uh, special, specifically for structure feature, to ponder how structure information affect the EA on HHKGs, we select the simple HHGA, then randomly mask ratios of facts in cases to mimic the different graph structure conditions. For simple HHGA, with the mask ratio of graph structure gradually increasing, the temporal information is lost. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It is worth noting that as the mask ratio of structure information increases, the performance of simple HGA plus improves. At a mask ratio of uh, 16, 60, simple HGA plus even outperforms the basic version. Okay, okay I will quick. Uh, here for name feature, as shown while the mask ratio of entity names gradually increase, the performance of EA method which highly rely on entity name information drop sharply. As the mask ratio of an entity name gradually increases, the basic simple HHEA also drops sharply like other baselines. However, the rule of entity structure encoder in simple HHEA plus becomes permanent even surpassing the basic version when the mask ratio is 18%. It also indicates that the structure information can benefit EA, especially when the other information quantity cannot be granted. Okay, so in summary, our research emphasizes that the traditional method may not be effective when facing highly heterogeneous cases, necessitating new solutions. Our simple HHE method and the introduction of new data sites offer new perspectives and tools for research in this field. Here are some insights. From the perspective of data sites, it is crucial for develop more data sites that closely resemble real-world EA scenarios, such as highly heterogeneous settings. From the perspective of message design, attention could be given to the design of new message propagation and aggregation mechanism engines, or to proposing new EA paradigm different from existing paradigm. From the per perspective of feature utilization, the method should post adaptability of various feature quality conditions to meet the demands of diverse scenarios. Okay, thanks for listening. Our code and data site is also av available by scanning the QR code.